Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, quick video tonight. Uh, I've got problems. I've got a water pump leak. Uh, after my last video, let's see, not last week, but the week before, did a little long drive, got some gas, come back. Very hot out, it was in the 90s. I got back and I was leaking coolant bad and it's still dripping and it's been two weeks it's just a constant drip i'm thinking my water pump needs rebuilt which will be fun because i've never done it before so i'll have to order a rebuild kit and of course this happens you know right when you get back from vacation and you've just got a lot of extra money to spend. Of course not. So. Anyhow. So I'm kind of down as far as driving. Till I get this figured out. But she ran good on the trip. She just started getting hot. By the time I got home, it was... She was hot and... The water pump wasn't doing water pump things and leaking everywhere, leaked all over my garage floor, which was great. Clean up that mess. And, you know, there's no coolant in the reservoir, so she's pretty much drained her out. So, yeah. So I just kind of wanted to give an update of what's going on. And hopefully we can get this kit ordered and get it here and get this old girl back on the road. So just wanted to get back with everybody to update. Now this is kind of explained what's going on, but uh, me and my daughter tore into this thing last night. So I just wanted to take it apart and see if there was anything you know, obvious, wrong, or if it just needed a total rebuild. So we took the hood off and disconnected this hose, fan belt, got the water pump out, took everything apart, cleaned it up, found a O-ring that is right back here behind this that was worn out it was stretched out been pinched stuff like that so we put a new one in and put everything back together today and we had it running for a little bit while we were filling it up with coolant and so far so good no leaks so Everything's going good. I'm just going to back it out here and let it run for a little bit. Let it get up to temperature and see what it's going to do. Here's the O-ring that we found in the water pump. It's pretty well gone. Looks like it had been pinched at one point. Probably just got loose and got in there and got in a bind and got wedged and then started leaking or at least that's what i'm hoping so i had a new one replaced it put everything back together everything else looked pretty good other than just you know gummed up and gre old grease and stuff like that but we cleaned everything out all the bushings look good bearings look good so we put it back together we filled it up and now i think we're okay so let's get this thing outside running and see if we see anything. Okay, we got it outside. It was leaking. Right through here pretty bad. So far so good. Everything's circulating. I think we may have got it. I 
think we got lucky. No leaks. Weird seeing this thing without a hood on. It's like an old hot rod. Except for the little engine. Getting ready to rain. Need to get it back inside. Things are hard to find. You used to be able to pick them up pretty easy online. I look and everything that where I usually look is out of stock, and then it's hard to find even rebuilt kits for it. So, if any of you guys that have these things know where I can get a rebuilt kit or even a new one eventually someday, drop a comment, let me know. I'd like to have a spare or at least a rebuild kit as a spare. Because I know they do wear out fairly easy and they're always needing attention. Yeah. Should about wrap it up for this one. Hopefully we'll get another dry video in soon. Now that this took it care of. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.